Hello guys, welcome back to the Forex Boat Weekly Analysis. This is Victor with you. And before we start, reminding you again that these analyses are pure for educational purpose only, should not considered as a financial advice. And I'm obviously not a financial advisor. Let's get started. And today we are looking at yet another Swiss franc currency pair as we have been doing actually for the past several uh, analysis. This is because the Swiss franc definitely looks very, very strong against many currencies. And we were talking about the pound Swiss franc, uh, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, dollar Swiss franc, and now it's a euro Swiss franc. Let's get back to our previous analysis first before we start with this one. The oldest was pound Australian dollar. We still expect to hit the target. Australian versus Japanese still expect to hit the target as well. It seems like ABC correction here. So yeah, could be going further up, maybe even higher. Australian Swiss franc, uh, we were talking about potential of fixing profit, especially now Swiss franc is strong. At the very least, stop loss just below, now move higher, just below this point. I do expect it to have a strong correction for Australian Swiss franc. So fixing profit would be the best idea of all. I will just put the line here of fixing the profit so this would have been our initial idea okay so this is done with the australian swiss franc if you want to hold it it's up to you but i think it's going to go down uh now pound versus swiss franc expecting this strong strong trend down but you can see we hit the support level this was our first target so at least profit taking would be good some part of the profit taking is a good idea i think but still expect the downtrend to continue. Maybe some consolidation. Um, overall, yeah, I think it will go down and I would uh, probably leave it open. Now, New Zealand Canadian dollar, what I think that it might be actually reversing since we had the rejection of this resistance and this resistance. Obviously, it can go up, but stop loss should be moved tight here. Uh, in this case, uh, trade can be left open, but it's just consolidating, not moving much. So I think uh, profit taking at this point uh, can be reached. It's possible. I don't think uh, not because this law hasn't been broken, but stop loss should be uh, watched at this point. I mean, if, if we have like a daily close below this level, definitely it's an exit signal. Swiss franc, Japanese yen. What I do love about this one is the clean bounce of the simple moving average with the 200 period extremely clean bounce and you can see that daily close failed to be below the level that we were looking as an exit signal and this is actually very very bullish now for the swiss franc japanese yen i think this trend will start from today so excellent opportunity still there on the swiss franc japanese yen dollar swiss franc Pair is consolidating. Uh, basically, we had it a couple, couple of days ago. I think uh, we are about to start this actually move down. So still, still on. And, and uh, finally, we are moving to the uh, euro Swiss franc. Now we have a daily chart here, and I have applied two FIPS to both corrective waves up. We can see that there are two FIPS, and one of the FIPS is 161.8, and another 200. 61.8 both of them showing us the potential level of support at uh, 1.0440 this is very good for full potential target because two fibonacci corresponds to that now if i go to the one hour chart the picture here is very interesting uh, we have a bounce of the downtrend trend line very clean this is actually alone with the um, exponential moving average bounce and finally we seems that have accomplished here an abc correction uh, to the downside because you can see here is one two three four five major trend down correction abc now after these bounces it seems that it's finished and it's time actually for the sell opportunity on this pair I think we would be reaching this point within a week, not more than that. And uh, the target is at 0. Uh, 1.0443 approximately. Now, in regards to the exit signal, I would be using a daily close above the high. 
this would be the exit signal but if uh, you prefer like using stop losses probably at 0 0.5 uh, 70 would be the exit so around uh, this level that would make it our trade with a risk reward of 2 to 1 so exit signal on the daily close above this level is just a perfect with a stop loss at 0 0.5 70 Overall, our target is approximately 77 pips for the Euro Swiss franc is quite a lot with a stop loss of 50 pips. So 50 pips stop loss from this level. Actually, it should be 40 pips stop loss because our target is 80 pips. So 40 pips stop loss, which would make it about 65. So 0565 stop loss. That would make it a risk reward of 2 to 1. So this is the idea for today for this week as well. Again on the Swiss franc, we can see that Swiss franc might be feeling very, very strong in uh, this week and the uh, beginning of the next week as well. And this is the idea. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe for our next trade ideas.